How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar. Now, today I'm doing a round two, seeing how much power gain I can get if I use bifacial panels. The setup will be four different panels. We'll have two that have the bifacial feature running in series into an EcoFlow Delta Pro to receive that energy that we're creating. And then the two down here have tape on the back, knocking out that bifacial feature, and then also running through into an EcoFlow Delta Pro. Now this is a round two because the first round of testing for a similar setup was up on a white flat membrane roof. Now a few things were different on that one. One, we are only at a 10 degree angle, and a little more context there, I was trying to replicate a setup we were looking at for a commercial property, and that's where we we're gonna use Iron Ridge, their ballasted systems, that would keep it right off the flat deck at a 10 degree angle. So I was replicating that because we were looking at bifacial panels compared to standard panels. So I wanted to see what power gains I could get and overall what energy increase we would get with the bifacial panels. Now, a few pieces of feedback from you guys was one, those panels were way too low. That front edge was actually on the white membrane roof. So it'd be hard to get any light underneath that to maximize the bifacial feature. So that was reasonable feedback. And two, I only used blue blue masking tape on the first round, which still might have let some light through, so you weren't really getting a true test between those two. So I looked to remedy that and also test out a ground mount system where we're, instead of 10 degrees, we're at 36 degrees in our mounting location and facing due south, just like we were facing on that flat white membrane roof. And then to make sure there was no light going through that blue masking tape, I put another round of white duct tape on the back of that just to completely not out the light that might be passing through the two different panels that are supposed to not have the bifacial feature. So we'll jump on the back side of the panels here, show you the rest of that setup, and then what we're looking to do is run multiple hours throughout the day, and we have really good sun today, and beat the 4% we saw in our version one testing. Overall, those results were a little disappointing to me, so hopefully today we'll get a little bit more with this ground mount out of the bifacial panels. All right, so we have the two EcoFlow Delta Pros, one in front of me, those are running the bifacials on this side, and then an EcoFlow behind me, and then that's gonna be running the two panels that have the bifacial feature covered up with the two layers of tape. Now those run through series into this energy monitor before then going into the EcoFlow Delta Pro. So the measurement that we're actually looking for is the watt hours that we create throughout the testing cycle on these two bifacial panels compared to the two behind me. That's really what we're comparing apples to apples to get our percentage difference. Just for your reference, this is an EG4 ground mount. It is an awesome little DIY setup. It's just on a four by four temporary base. And then I just have two ground rods at the end. Those are one to hold the actual temporary base in, but then I also have an acorn nut that ties in our bare ground that grounds all the panels in this rack itself if you need to ground your overall rack and you're looking for something like this. But for me, it works perfectly on this type of setup. I just know these panels are 43 inches wide and this EG4 ground mount pretty much maxes out at four panels at a 43 inch width can't fit much more on it. All right, now let's take a closer look at the energy monitor to just get a sample point of what we're getting out of the two bifacials in series. So we are three o'clock in the afternoon, pretty solid sun, it's come down a little bit in terms of what it's producing, but you can see here, you're gonna get your amps coming in, your volts coming in, and then overall what power we are, and that's real time. Now we wouldn't wanna use that as like a spot check and then compare it to the other side that does not have the bifacial feature. Instead, we want to accumulate the energy that we're storing inside the EcoFlow Delta Pro. This would be the amp hours we created throughout the cycle, and then there's your watt hours. That's what we're gonna be testing throughout this cycle. So this kind of rotates through this lower left-hand corner comparing watt hours from bifacial, which is this side, to the other side, and that's where we'll get our percentage difference. Now I've been running for over two hours now and pretty much clear skies the whole time. I will call the test now because we start to have some shade from trees moving in and I don't want that to skew our results. But if you could give me a little feedback down in the comments, what are you looking at for your own solar projects? Are you into DIY like this? What are you using that for? Or are you looking for kind of a professionally installed system on your home, grid tied, and try to eliminate that monthly power bill? I'm curious to get your feedback. I do both. I do this type of DIY stuff, but then I also had a professionally installed system installed in my home last season, 11 kilowatts, and I started off in a link in the description just getting an idea on cost and size. 
You can fill in a few details on your home, most importantly, your monthly power bill. And then within a few minutes, you can get that estimate to see what size are you looking for and what is that overall cost minus the 30% federal tax credit. And if that's something you wanna go further with, they can connect to your local installers and you can progress through getting real quotes and starting to vet those installers. But let's jump in, take a look at the results and see if we beat that 4% gain from bifacials that we saw in the round one testing. So first up, we'll go ahead and look at the bifacial side using the energy monitor, again, running over two hours, and we'll see that we've created 1,449 watt hours of energy throughout the cycle. Now jumping immediately over to the side where we have it double taped to knock out the bifacial feature and compare, and in the same time period, we're looking at 1,401 watt hours, which would be a delta of 48 additional watt hours gained from the bifacial feature. So comparing that 48 watt hours of gain over the 1401 watt hours created by the non-bifacial side, that is a gain of only 3.4%, which honestly is pretty disappointing. I would expect to get at least a 10% gain. And if you look at some of the marketing literature, usually you're talking about a 10 or 15% or even more in terms of what the brands are pushing. Now these are Trina 395 watt panels, and you'll see a link in the description of the exact ones I'm using. The only explanation I could come up with is we did have great sun during this time. So what you can create on the front side pretty much trumps what little you create from the back side. Now in the morning hours and evening hours and then overcast days, maybe you would actually create quite a bit more in terms of percentage because that front side wouldn't be generating nearly as much as it was during our test. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm interested to get your feedback. I know some people have touted much more than that in terms of their bifacial, but two tests now, one, 4%, and now 3.4% are the gains that I'm seeing from bifacial in the same setup as ones without the bifacial feature. Now, if you guys are doing a DIY setup and maybe you have some mismatched panels, you have a 300 watt panel, a couple 100s, and you're looking to put those together, there is definitely some rhyme or reason on how you'd wire those up to get the most out of that combination of mixed match panels. And you can check this video out right here. We'll walk you through some examples and then you can connect that same knowledge to your own setup and get it wired up correctly. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.